If you're lying on your back, you're welcome to stay there. And if not, and you'd like to join me in a comfortable cross-legged position, please do. And if you're sitting cross-legged, pull the flesh of your buttocks back behind your sit bones. And just see if that helps you connect the sit bones to the earth a little bit more. Really feeling the bones resting on the earth. Letting them sink down. And see if you can feel supported enough by the bones that you're sitting on and the rest of the bones in the body to let go of the muscles. Connecting with the heaviness in the bones and the softness of the flesh. The more you feel supported by the heaviness, the more you can surrender to the softness. Let the belly be soft and empty and relax. And then fill that emptiness with breath. Pour it in, expanding the belly out. Relaxing more with the exhale. And then pouring breath in to the belly and the ribs. And relaxing as you exhale. And then finally, breathing belly, ribs, chest. Feeling everything expand and open and then release and relax. And if you're ready to come and sit up and join us, please do. Or take your time and come when you're ready. We'll have the palms facing down on the knees. And we'll begin circling around from the hips. <coughs> Inhaling as you come across the front of the circle bringing your chest forward and your eyes up and exhaling as you come through the back, bringing your chin down, rounding your back. See if you can both make the movement big, but also gentle. <laughs> Teresa, whatever the cat did froze you. I don't know if you can even hear me, but you're frozen. And then we'll turn the opposite way. And 
and come back to neutral spine. Breathing belly, ribs, chest. And then send the arms out to the side, making gentle fists and circle the hands around at the wrists. Circle the other way. And relax the arms down. Roll the right shoulder forward, up, back, and down, and then the left. And then maintain the rhythm of your breath. Maybe the movement will coordinate with your breathing. It's not necessarily linear, but just try to stay connected to everything. And then circle the other way. If the eyes are closed, maybe you can really feel everything that's moving, everything that's working, everything that's re Welcome back. and let that come to rest. We'll inhale and take the arms out and back, widen across the heart, and then exhale round the back, bringing the elbows and hands together. Inhale, lift the eyes, lift the elbows, lift the chest. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Inhale, opening, expanding the breath. Exhale, rounding, arms together. See if you can keep the arms and elbows touching as you lift up, look up, breathe in, and then relax back to center. Continue like that while I bring Teresa back on screen. Make it big, make it spacious, feel your aliveness, elbows together. And the next time the hands come to the heart, rest there. We'll take the arms back out to the side, curling the fingers in, but leaving the thumbs extended. And we'll rotate one thumb forward and down as we rotate the other one back. And then switch. And then turn your head from side to side. 
See which way your head naturally wants to go. So if the arms and shoulders get tired, it can be helpful to really focus on the inhale that's energizing, really breathing deeply and fueling those muscles with that oxygen and life force. Last one. And relax. Give the shoulders a little roll. Good. And then inhale and reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Relaxing over. Letting your hands rest down, letting your elbows bend, relaxing your head. See if the armpits can drop. And then just focus on widening the breath. Whatever posture you're in, be there fully. Inhabit your body. Using the breath to orient your mind inward. And then using your awareness to notice the depth and the breadth of the breath and help it to expand fully. Press the hands onto the ground, roll yourself up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Breathing in, breathing out. Can you stay connected to the rhythm of your breath even as we move non-rhythmically in a moment? Release your hands and release your legs and shake them out. Cross your legs the other way, whichever way is not natural to you. Place the left hand on the ground beside you and slide it away. Okay. Then drop your elbow. Nice. Then push into your left hand, sink into your right sit bone. Turn your gaze up, reach that right arm overhead. Try to bring the left ribs under you as if you're trying to spiral your chest up toward the sky. Maintain pressure in your left hand and keep your left shoulder down away from your ear. And reach out long through your right hand. Breathe long and deep into the body. Notice where you feel it.
and then fold forward over your left leg, placing the arm down if you can on the diagonal, dropping your head, draw your belly back, let your left elbow sink, but keep your right arm stretched long. And continue to press back into that right sit bone. Breathing long and slow and deep. And then roll yourself up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, left arm down, slide it away. Bend the elbow to drop the shoulder. Push into the hand. Sorry, I said left arm, I mean right arm. You guys know. And then roll your head up and reach your left arm out long. Roll your ribs up. Breathe deep. Slow. Long. And then fold over your right leg, reaching your left arm across on the diagonal, dropping your head, dropping your right elbow, push into your right hand, sending the left hip back. You feel the fingers and the hip reaching away from each other. Letting the breath fill the distance between the two. Feel the completion of the breath, filling the whole space that's there for it, making more space with the breath. And then roll up, reach up, inhale. Exhale, release the arms down. Release the legs, shake them out. Work the knees if that would feel good. And then come over onto hands and knees. Line your hands up right under your shoulders. If you prefer to be on fists, you can be on fists. The knees are right under the hips. Good. And we'll inhale and we'll send the right leg back and look up. And then exhale and bring the knee to the forehead. See if you can actually touch. And then back and up, looking up. And in and round, squeeze all the air out. So when your leg comes back, you want to have it straight. I know my pants look like my knee is bent, but it's not. So try to keep you as straight as well. And 
And the next time the leg comes back, hold it there. Straighten it so that it's parallel to the ground. Take your gaze down to the floor and then send your left arm forward. Lift your belly up to support your back and to support your balance by engaging your core. And then help it by breathing into it. And release the left hand down. Send that right foot over to the left. Curl the toes under. Mine are not curled, but curl yours. And then take weight into that left hand. Squeeze your inner thighs together. And then send the right arm up. and release the hand down and we'll go the other way squeeze the thighs send the left arm up a little harder this way the more you squeeze your inner thighs together the more stability you create so it's not about reaching back through the arm. We're not trying to open the shoulder. We've done lots of that. You really want to twist. So you're bringing your right ribs under you and rotating your left ribs up. And release down. Bring your right knee back. Coming back into table and then a sunbird on the other side. Left leg up and back, looking up. Exhale, pulling in, knee to forehead. And then the next time the leg comes back, hold it there and bring it so that it's parallel to the ground. Bring your gaze down and then send your right arm forward. Lifting the belly, breathing long from hand to foot. Release the hand down, cross the left leg behind you, curl the toes under, take weight into the right hand, and then roll open, lifting up, just really feeling that openness through the belly, the ribs, chest. And then come down and we'll come into our twist, squeezing the inner thighs together and reaching up with the right arm. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's quite a balance challenge. The more deeply you breathe, the easier it is to balance.
Beautiful. Come back down. Bring the knee down. And just wiggle the body around a little bit. Let the hips move side to side. The head. Just feel the spine. Just make it your own. And whatever you're doing, if there's a direction to it, reverse directions. And then come back to neutral. Walk the arms forward, having the hands shoulder width apart, sink the chest, and then if you can rest on your forehead or chin or cheek, let yourself really surrender the weight into the floor. And feel those bones supporting you, the leg bones, bones in the face, and let the bones of the spine release downward, letting go of the muscles, breathing in and breathing out. If you're on one cheek, switch to the other. If you're on one cheek, come center. We'll bring the hands in, press into them, and round your back, rolling up. Breathe into the back body. And then come back to neutral spine. And then if you're on a mat, send either knee off the mat and keep going off to the side until you've come as far apart in the knees as you can. And then you're going to check so that the knees are not behind the hips or in front of the hips. So I see a little bit of in front of. And then the ankles are lined up with the knees. And then if you can come down onto your elbows or onto your chest, go ahead. If you're on your chest, you can make a pillow with your hands and rest your head. Let go. Feel whatever resistance you might inadvertently be giving to your full expression of this stretch and see if you can surrender to it. Find the breath and every exhale. Let go a little more. Bring your hands under the shoulders, press yourself up, bring the knees in. And then step the right foot forward. Let the hips drop down, bring the right hand onto the right thigh, lift yourself up. I'm gonna show the other one because my foot doesn't like that. OK. 
okay? And then press down with the left hand and lift up through the right arm. So you don't have to switch sides just because I did. I just can't do it on the other side. So your right, your right leg is forward. Yep, sorry about that. And good. And then reach up. Send your right thumb, send your left thumb back. Send your tailbone down and forward. Keep sinking your hips. Drop the weight. As much as you're lifting up, release down. Beautiful. Bring that right hand down to the ground. Bend your right, sorry, left. I forgot I'm not mirroring you anymore. Bring your left hand down. Bend your left leg. Reach your right hand back for your foot. And roll your right, left ribs under you. Look over your right shoulder and pull the heel toward the buttock. Infuse it with your breath. Release, bring the hand down, walk the hands back, straighten the leg, point and flex the foot. And then hold the foot flex. Inhale, look up. Continue to look up. Exhale and just try to lay your belly down onto your thigh without dropping your head. Everybody drops their head anyway. Okay, do what you want. <laughs> Inhale, look up. Exhale, pull the belly in and lower the belly and the ribs. And then inhale, look up. Exhale, draw the belly in. Drop the belly, drop the ribs. Now drop the head. You just get further into the pose that way. If you drop your head from the beginning, you're just rounding your back. You're not really sinking the torso, which is where the stretch is going to come from. So. If you find that what I'm saying actually doesn't serve you and it's deeper for you, if you drop your head, then just ignore me. Maybe that's why you work. <laughs> and then if your hands happen to be on the ground, lighten your touch so that you're like Resting your hands like a mosquito would rest on your skin. Relax the arms. Relax everything except the flex of the foot. Let the breath wait, work its way through the softness of your body. And lift your head, shift your hips forward again, bring your hand inside and bring your leg back. Okay, then we'll do the other side, stepping your left foot forward. Drop your hips. Have your left hand on your left leg. Bring your right arm up. 
reach up. Keep sending your hips forward and down. Aim your tailbone for your left foot. Send your right thumb back, your gaze back and up. And bring the hand down, reach your left hand, reach your, I don't know, whichever hand isn't on the ground, <laughs> reach it back for, oh yeah, I'm mirroring you again. Reach your right hand for your left foot. I'm sorry, guys. And then pull the heel in and sink the hips down. And then rotate your ribs to the right and look over your right shoulder. Keep dropping that left hip. Drop everything that's not your breath. And release the hand down. Walk the hands back so that you can straighten that front leg. And point and flex the foot. Hold the foot flex, inhale, look up, exhale, lay your belly down onto your thighs, keeping the arch in your back if you can. Inhale, look up, exhale, lay the belly down and see if the ribs can come down. And then inhale, look up, breathe long, exhale, release over, let your head drop. Let your elbows bend. So even if you're far enough away from the floor that you don't feel like you can bend your elbows, just put some slack in your arms, just so that they're not rigid and locked. They're not holding you up. You want to have some place to go. So every time you breathe, you can just Feel that there's a possibility of letting go a little more. It's not trying to stretch deeper. It's trying to do less. Do less. Hold on less. Hold back less. Do less. And then bring that left hand inside the leg, send the leg back, walk the hands in even more, rolling up onto your knees. So option one is the hands come to the hips. Option two, the hands come to the heels. Option, uh, option Three is the hands are on the heels, but the toes are curled under so that you can reach. So if you're coming onto your heels, it's often helpful to start with one hand, lean back, let that hand take your weight, and then reach the other hand back, find the other heel. Again, curling the toes under if that helps you reach. And then press the hips forward. Roll the shoulder blades in, 
Drop the head back. Feel if the front of the body feels tight. Maybe it feels scary to be this open and vulnerable and you can just honor that by just holding that in your heart with compassion and breathing into it with love and care, ease. Keep bringing the hips under you and forward. If your hands are on your heels, bring one hand to the belly. Look over the other shoulder. Lift yourself up. And then we'll all come into Mecca pose, sitting on the feet, folding over, extending the arms forward. Pressing forward into the hands, sending the hips back. Feel the length from your sit bones to your fingers and try to breathe into that length. And then lift your hips up, your heels, keep your hands where they are. Spread the fingers wide. Curl the toes under, take a breath in as you exhale, lift your knees, send your hips back, press forward into all 10 fingers to lengthen back through the sit bones. And then drop the ribs, drop the chest, drop the head, press the thighs back, press the heels down. Feel the breath in the front of the body, the back of the body, the sides of the body. And keep shifting weight from the fingers to the heels, pushing forward. Pull the shoulders down the back. See how it would feel to press your inner ankles toward your outer ankles. And then walk your hands to your feet. With soft knees and chin to chest, roll yourself up. And then send the arms forward with the thumbs down, reaching up and, and down and again. Thumbs down, arms forward. Beautiful. Let the arms rest there. Turn the palms forward. Close the eyes. Soften the knees. Bring the chin back. Breathe. Deep and slow and long. And then shift your weight onto your left foot. 
feeling the whole body lined up over that foot. Stay focused on the rhythm of your breath, but open your eyes. Can you see what's going on on the outside, but still feel what's going on on the inside? And focus on the latter. And then when you're ready, bring the right foot up to the inside of the left thigh. If you don't reach the thigh, then it can be anywhere. If the balance is too hard for you, just have the toes touching the floor. And then push the foot into the leg to help open that knee wider and stabilize the posture. You can bring your hands together at the heart if you're balanced. If you need to use your hands to help you balance, then that's fine. Have your gaze on one spot. So the key to balance is it helps to have some core strength, absolutely. Doesn't take that much because we're on the bones. We're using the bones of our legs. And the balance comes from the eyes not moving, the mind not moving, and the breath being slow and steady. If you have those three things, you can pretty much balance. And then if you're balanced easily and you wanna bring your arms up, feel free. This is a tree pose, so the arms are your branches and you can have them look however you want. And if you're super balanced and want more of a challenge, close your eyes. That shows you how much we do rely on our eyes for balance and the importance of maintaining that drishti, that gaze point. If the arms are up, bring them back down. Release the right foot down, close the eyes. Start to shift weight into your right foot. Feel your breath. Open your eyes, find your gaze point. When you're ready, lift your left foot to your inner right thigh. Press the foot in, open the knee out. Take the arms up if you can. If you're struggling with the balance, keep the arms down, please. If you want more challenge to your balance, close your eyes. Good save, Michael. Nice, you guys. So when you fall out of the pose, see if you're mind and eyes cannot fall out of the pose. You cannot help it if your body falls out of the pose, but your focus and your gaze don't ever have to leave. So just keep working on that. Okay, and then if your arms are up, bring them down. Release the hands, release the foot. Drop the chin, soften the knees. Roll yourself all the way down. Coming onto your buttocks and onto your back. Have the knees bent and the feet under the knees. Lift the hips, tuck your tailbone under, lower back down. If you're using an eye pillow, place it on your eyes. And have the arms out to the side. Feel free to release your legs and shake them out. 
Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth, releasing the body into the ground. Inhale into the nose, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the jaw, parting the lips slightly, relaxing the tongue. Inhale deep, exhale out of the mouth, releasing the activity of the mind, turning your awareness the feeling of your breath, letting your mind become so occupied by the breath, there's nothing else in it. And let go of the breath so that it's just happening for you. And if the mind wanders, which it does, no problem. Just come back. Just train it again and again. Deeply relax. Letting go. Letting go. Letting go.
breathe into your heart. Look at fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead. Take a deep breath. Stretch long. Pull the knees to the chest, rock from side to side, massaging the back with the ground. Come center, rub hand to hand and foot to foot, bringing energy back into your body. And then roll onto your side, resting your head on your right arm, sorry, your underside arm, coming into seedlings pose. Resting your body on the ground. And taking in these words, a quote by G.K. Chesterton. Doing nothing is sometimes one of the highest of the duties of man. And slowly bring yourself up, let your head come up last, come into any comfortable seated position. Sinking down into your sit bones, lifting tall through your head. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, the hands together at the heart. Inhale, the heart up to the hands. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Inhale deeply, breathing in from bottom to top. Take it all in. Let it all go. Drop the chin to the chest. Namaste.